I think I'm picking up and learning as I go, you know. I feel like I'm better than I was a couple years ago. I feel like I'll be better in a couple of years than I am uh, right now. I'm a, I'm a martial artist in life. You know, I try to be in a whether I'm fighting or not, I'm always trying to move it somewhere, whether it's uh, yeah. uh, yeah. running, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, last night. I got a broken leg, I'm working on something I've got, it's a hurt ankle, you know, I just try to, I always try to dance, somewhere like that. What, you fought in both weight classes, what weight do you normally walk around at? You're in the middle, I take it? Uh, after a fight, like two weeks, I'll probably be 180, 185. Like, you spoke about that before, like you got up to 191 and how miserable you were, and that was kind of the impetus behind, uh, behind going to welterweight. And Caesar talked about this this new raw vegan diet. How's that treat you? Not why I've been vegan for a long time, since I was about 18, 17 years old. And uh, I eat raw. I've been doing that for a few years now, but I eat raw. Building up to a fight about a month and a half out. Because more so, if I could eat as much as I want and lose the weight. Rather than if I'm cooking food and making all kinds of other stuff, keep your food to a limit. What about like barbecue or? I try to stay all the way through. I try to eat all raw. I even like some steamed rice, some uh, complex food, you know. But mainly all raw vegan. So does a slice of pizza ever cost and eat the other as lips? No, I'm not. I'm just gluten, gluten dairy free. And I'm with it. <laughs> Thanks. Yes, it does though. When you start to fight, I mean full gluten free pizza. <laughs> Nate, you've had a lot of um, support from a lot of people in the industry, a lot of fellow fighters going into this fight. You seem an incredibly popular man with the other fighters. Why do you think that is? Well, I think uh I think that I'm speaking for probably me. I'm a really good fan of you know, and uh, it's not necessarily fun to come out, but we come out and we do what we gotta do, you know. And, uh, we fight. Honestly? Yeah, we fight the best that we could, you know. And uh, while we're there, and I think people could, if you're a fighter, I think you can respect that, you know. There's fighters that. Uh, I feel the same way about there's other fighters that you know, say you guys could be in the same category as me. They kinda uh, I don't think I'm one of those fighters, you know, that that, that they get irritated with that are in the same category as me, you know. So people are in the same same uh, same category, you can pay the same amount, but not even a quarter of the fighter that you are, so what kind of fighter, sorry, what kind of fighter, how would you rate him to say? He's a legitimate, athletic, tough fighter, you know? And uh, some of you guys definitely be careful for. And someone who's going to definitely come in shape and be ready ready for a fight. And, uh, I don't know. Would you place him as a guy that likes to fight, no, you know, fighters fighter, a guy who fights no matter what, or a guy who wants to win points and win decisions? Um, I've seen him do some good things. I've seen him do some good things. Uh, depends on who you're fighting. Uh, you think he won against, uh, uh, against Frankie the second time? All right. I might not talk too much about that fight, but, like, who cares? the decision, you know, when you, when you go to the decision, it's like, um, sometimes it could have just gone either way, but I, did, uh, I said that Frankie one, I thought. Are you happy when you go to a decision? I haven't Are watched you? it, like, I've watched it a bunch of times, but I haven't really sat there and counted the points, right. and been like, but when I watched it right there, I for sure was, thought Frankie, and then when I gave it to Ben Henderson, mm. I was like, mm. I didn't think so, but who knows what they're counting, you know? It, as far as, uh, it depends on what the judges were counting, however they were counting, and what the hell they were counting, I don't know, but, I don't know, we'll leave the fifth, the rest of the... There's a little bit of drama between the judges. 
So well, if, if Gil came over and won the UFC belt, would you switch classes then? I mean, obviously, your your, your plan is to win the, the 155 belt, but are you still kind of, uh, would you move up back up to welterweight if Gil came in and won the title? No, I'll say I like weight, or 50, 70, I don't know, whatever. Thank you. Awesome, thanks. Would y'all want it? <laughs> Thank you very much.